In this video, we're going to start at a point here, let's say someone's house. And they have to get from their house to, let's say, a store. So what do we know? We know that to get there, what they usually do is they walk on this path and then turn at a right angle north to get there. And we know the distances of those two roads. So to get from point A to B, they travel 500 meters east and then 600 meters north. So this usually, this trip is 500 meters plus 600 meters, which is 1100 meters distance in total. And that's the path we go every day, but what if one day we took a shortcut? Right from point A to point B, straight without any turns. Well, we know this is a right angle here, and we can think of this path in total as a right triangle. Let me draw this line. That's our hypotenuse now. We want to figure out, well, how long is this shortcut? And, and how much do we save by taking the shortcut instead of walking this path right here? Um, so, so how do we do that? Well, this is a right triangle, so we can use the Pythagorean theorem where a squared plus b squared equals c squared. a squared and b squared are just 500 squared, and b squared is 600 squared. The hypotenuse squared is going to be the sum of the square of these two roots. So 500 squared is what? Well, 5 times 5 is 25, but we're multiplying by 500 twice. So, so that means each time this product becomes 100, 100 times larger, right? In other words, um, 10,000 times larger than 25, or 250,000. The same thing is going to happen with 600 squared. That's 360,000. So c squared is just the square. c squared is the sum of these two. Add them up. Think of 36 and 25. That's 61. But, of course, this is much larger than that. This is 610,000. So that's what c squared is, but we're trying to find c, this distance. So we take the square root of 610,000. Now that's not so easy to approximate. But if we were to narrow it down eventually by typing into a calculator or a search engine, we would see that's about 781. About. So that means what? Well, this distance is 781 meters. How much do we save? Well, 1,100 minus 781 is what we're looking at here. I'm not going to do a long subtraction. I'm going to think, well, to get from 1,100 to 781, I have to take 300 away to get from 1,100 to 800. So this is at least 300. And then I have to go 19 more to get from 800 to 781. So that means the difference here is the sum of these two is 319. So that means the difference between these two roots is 319 meters, and that's how much you save by going directly along this route right here. So the point is that, th that although the hypotenuse is the longest of these three sides, it's certainly shorter to go along the hypotenuse than it is to walk along the two legs of the right triangle. Alright, hope that helped.